Hello. In this video I'm gonna show off my 3D printed Bastion. And I did this on my live stream. And there are some loose parts because I want to glue this one together. I wanna show something as it's all multi-parted. As you can see on the gray one here. And the first time you print it, it's, it's very tight. And some pieces need support. So the difference in so this is support, and this one is just easy to take away. We have an inside support over here that I removed. Small edges over here. And that's the support of this one. We have the body. Just a tiny bit support over here. See? And if this one, the, the current one, doesn't fit in the inside, just fail it a bit down. But it will fit in tight. Most of the time, most printers do this perfectly. But yeah, some, some printers can make a bit of nudge in here and won't work that proper. Same with the barrel tank. That's only this small support you need to, to snap it away from here. It's a small narrow part where you can do that. Oh, lost that one. The, the body and whoop. That's mostly the back part. That is this, oop, this part, this inside, inside, and those small pieces. You can just chip one layer, layer, layer away. You get this one. So it's uh, decently a decently lo a lot support. There's a small inner inside. You can just chip it away, and you can use. Just a small clipper. It, it's it's really easy. It's really solid because yeah, I made the support myself. So sometimes it's it's hard to spot, and I had some people that had trouble winning that. So there we go. For this one, it's only on the inside. Those three are support for the bridging here. If you have trouble with this part, because normally when we print it, this small corner, and let me zoom in. This small corner is more than 45 degrees. If you print very slow with a lot of cooling, you can do this too, and even probably more perfect than this one. And this has only a small support in here, and you can just snap that. That's it. So, the next part is when you're gonna glue it. Wrong one. This one, just just check that th this side is the same as that one because I have a lot of space in here. You can push it in more because some printers have trouble with the bridging part here, and with that you get a bit more space. So if you have a bit of overhang, because this one is printed like this, if you have a bit of overhang, you still have space to put this one in. If not, you can just use a small burner like this one to remove the the, the gaps that you that the overhang made. Put it in. So you put this one just straight up. Most of the time you can push on here so you make it straight. And then you have to cut the size. And this should match up. Gluing parts, just do it in this corner here and here. That's the best part to glue it up. Same with the small one. Probably need a small bit of chisel on the inside. Because I made it good tight, so the first time you, you put it in, and I removed this one so much that the plastic is, is giving it away. When you push it in, just a small glue here and a small glue here. You can put it on. Same with the front. You can just click it on. And the glue part in here and in here you get no leakage and does it still looks awesome so 
Same with here with the small button. I just lost it, so I'm gonna use the gray one. This one in like this. If I made a different shape. You can just put it in. Put some glue on the inside, preferable on the front because there's a bit of airspace to put put the glue on. And when you get the body. This one is just a bit too tight. Sometimes this does need not not need glue, but most of the time it does. Well, same with the front part. There's a bit thicker line here. That one needs to go in the body itself. And the small part goes in the barrel. And you glue that up, and it's, it's tight. So the last problem on most people have is that this one. Come on. This one never fits in properly. Because some printers are too good and this bridge is too too good. So what I mostly do heat this part a small bit up. Grab something that you can push it in. Make it a bit narrow. So now made it a bit tighter. Made a small gap and no one can see that because the body of this thing is going up. Now you can push it in. It sticks more. If it doesn't st it stick to more you can just glue it. Some some people don't want to have the glue and you can do this this small trick and it works fantastic. Because you never see it and you can make it as tight as possible. It's already more loose so I can almost do that without... and if I wiggle it will fall a bit. Yeah, if you do that without glue that helps. Yeah, I I was planning to do a YouTube, and this kind of is actually my first YouTube, so hope everyone enjoys it, and uh, with the making of my Bastion, if you uh, found it on Thingiverse, and I will post a link uh, down below, you can download it and print it yourself, and if you do, please make a make, because I would love to see everyone else's Bastion that you make, and this took some time to, to build for me, and I just want to share the fun with this, because I had so much fun making this on my stream, and People were asking questions, how do you remove the supports, how do, how do you click it in, in each other, and how do you build it, and I made it as, as functional and easy to go, and I hope everyone likes it, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping to post more on my YouTube, and see, 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 see you next time.